You peed on me. You peed on me. <laughs> so this is going to be the funnest vlog ever. Isn't it, JJ? <laughs> mm. We are... I gotta put the baby down. Okay, JJ was fussing, so he's out of the camera lens. Yes, guys, we are diseased up in this house. Um, we have hand, foot, and mouth disease. Yay! So exciting! So I thought I'd have to share it with you guys. I'm sure there's some of you who have had it. Make sure you comment below. But basically, I've never had it, and I'm still in shock. Jarvis is showing the signs of it as of yesterday. He first developed a fever last night and he's been irritable all through the, out the night, and then today he's had a fever as well, and today we noticed those sores starting to happen on him. So basically, I'm just gonna kinda document it and let you guys see the pictures if you want to, um, but if anybody you know gets this, then they can look at this video and kinda see what to expect based on what happened to him, and maybe even us. Uh, but basically he was exposed to it. We were watching our nieces and he would have been exposed to it five days ago and uh, We didn't know that my niece had it and then we found out she did and Sure enough, it looks like he's having it now. So we tried everything to avoid catching it. We disinfected the house. A good friend of ours recommended thieves oil. So we were spraying that all over the house and putting it on the palms of our feet to try to not catch the virus. But um, anybody who's had it knows it's a highly contagious virus. And hopefully you guys learned something from this and hopefully, oh, I'm also gonna tell you guys how to avoid it if you can and any other tricks or whatever that we learn about it. But it's nasty. Oh, and it does seem like he has some sores in his mouth too because he's just not eating very well and he's just kind of crying. Like, obviously he can't communicate. He's 10 months old, but you can kind of tell that something's going on with his throat. So it's really sad. Okay, so I'll show you guys some pictures. It's not that bad today. It's just, oh, there he is. There he is. Are you sad or are you okay right now? Are you sad? <laughs> yeah, so he's been pretty irritable today. Okay, anyway, so I'll show you guys some pictures of just the odd little bump right now, but it wasn't there before. So the pictures are a bit blurry here because I couldn't get him to keep his hand still. But don't worry, guys, the next days I get my act together. Hey guys, so it is the third evening since Jarvis first showed signs of having hand, foot, and mouth disease and it's been rough. He's okay at this very second. He did not sleep whatsoever last night. He was up crying and screaming because his throat is just really sore. And he won't nurse, which has been, you know, um, a big frustration for him. And he won't eat solids at all. So we've been feeding him uh, breast milk with formula and any kind of food in there that we can get in liquid form and we have been feeding him that through a syringe to keep him hydrated. Hydration is key during this so you want to make sure your baby's getting all the liquids that they can. And so what I'm going to do is, yeah, it's spread everywhere. It's not very red. I'm going to go to a different room so you guys can see better but he's got the bumps everywhere. All over his hands, all over his limbs, all over his buttocks and Thankfully not too much in his face, but I really wish the ones in the mouth would go away because that's just, you know, that's horrible when they're not eating. So what I'm going to do is give him a diaper change and then I'm going to see if I can get some better footage of some of the marks. <laughs> some better footage of some of the marks for you guys. Okay. okay, so I've just changed him and I'd like to say hand foot and mouth disease my butt because it's all over his body so I'm hoping you guys can see but you see he's got the spots really everywhere they're all over his limbs now and again this is night three um, but they're all over his limbs they're all over his chest his face is actually not oh, I gotta make sure he doesn't fall here he's got it all there so I don't know if you guys can see that let me try to get it in focus here. 
And thankfully, when I did the diaper change, his butt area looked better, so that was good. Um, and then this is a look at his feet. His feet, you know, they have a little bit, but I would say no more than his chest or his legs. Look at his knees here, guys. Poor thing. Yeah. So there's his knees. Um, and then you can see a little bit better there now. So he's got these little bubs and he does scratch. He has been, he has been scratching as well. So I can tell he's irritated there. Jarvis, just in the mouth area, he's just got a little bit of a mark there. Nothing major, but it's inside the mouth. Like I said, that's the real issue. And then I'll show you guys his back in just a sec. Let me just make sure he's safe. Okay, so this is his back, which you can see is even more irritated. There, there's quite a lot of bumps all over his back there, guys. So, yeah. But yeah, guys, this is day three. So hopefully tomorrow's better, not worse. All right, guys, it's day four of hand, foot, and mouth disease. Last night was horrible as well. He couldn't sleep through the night. He was very itchy, constantly tossing and turning. Sorry for the bed head, guys. We're just getting ready for bed. So I'm going to do another diaper change and then show you what his uh, lesions look like. Today was a lot better though, guys, so there's hope. He was able to nurse. He's still rejecting solids, so... Um, we still have to give it to him in liquid form, but he was able to nurse, which I know was really good for him and really comforting. And so that is great. And I was saying to my husband, because this is much worse than any flu or cold he's had, but I was saying to my husband that, you know, a lot of people, well, when you're going through something like this and you want to take the pain away from your kid and you're like, oh, why is this happening to him? You gotta just kind of put things in perspective and just remember that there's a lot of children who go through a lot worse things than hand, foot, and mouth disease. And there's a lot of parents that have to put up with a lot more serious things, serious illnesses. So try to put things in perspective and just know that it's, you know, something that lasts up to 10 days and, you know, just go with that. But anyways, I'll show you guys how he's doing. See, sorry for the bed head, guys. I kind of fell asleep. <laughs> he kind of looks like Edward Scissorhands. Yeah, I said Edward Scissorhands. <laughs> All right, guys, so here he is. You can see on his mouth, Jarvis, JJ. Well, we'll see when he waits, but you can see he's definitely a lot redder. And on his mouth, it's um turning into a little blister on there, the little marks that he had, so it's starting to scab. His arms are quite a bit redder than yesterday, um, but I think it's because the skin, oh, I just gotta make sure. Let's have a seat. Let me get, play with your letters. Play with your letters. Look. Why? Why? So yeah, you can see that his legs are very irritated and he's just covered really from head to toe. The only area he doesn't have a whole lot is his chest. Um, he's, I wanted to show you guys that on his knee, he's got uh, one of the bigger sores that I've seen and this is a new one here. Okay, so there's his feet now, day four. You can see they, he's got bigger blisters or I think they call them lesions. Um, and then on his knee here, he's got a pretty big one there. And let's see your hands, buddy. Yeah, so he's still irritated and itchy. I've been using cam chamomile lotion to help him out. Yeah, is that helping you out? And then I've also been making him cold things for his um, throat. I actually made him cold freezy pops for babies. If you want the recipe for that, I can put that in the description. One of my good friends, just so shy. Okay, here's his back. Now his back looks a lot better than yesterday. A lot better. So that's good. Only this spot here on his back. You peed on me. You peed on me! <laughs> okay guys, I was so excited to talk about day five with hand, foot, and mouth disease. That when I was changing him and looking over his body my and I was, mama. yeah, mama was doing that. I was so relieved that there was not as many marks and this guy decides to pee on me and he peed on his face. So then I thought better get a bath ready and as I'm running the bath, 
you know, there's no point in changing him at that point. He's already peed, right? And the bath is running. He pees again. Not one more time, but two more times. So that's three times. Okay, but the Yes, you. So anyways, we just got out of the bath, guys, and last night was much better. Much better, wasn't it? Look, you guys can tell by his personality. He's feeling a lot better on day five. He slept through the night. There was no scratches, um, or no waking up to scratch himself, and last night, around seven, he actually ate food instead of just the liquid, so... Now I'll show you guys, there are still some marks, and yeah, I'll get to that right now. Okay, so if you look, most of the marks are starting to scab. There's just little red dots, but he's totally a lot more clear, like even the top of his lips. He's still got a little mark by his nose. Let me get him back that toy here. Still got a little mark by his nose there, but this area on his lips is all cleared up. I'll show you what the scabs look like, just like that on his, um, what the heck is that? Huh. Anyways, just like that on his elbow and his legs are way better. There's just little faint little bumps and his diaper area is a lot clearer as well. So you've just got the odd little mark. Let's see his feet. So mainly just some scabbing um, on his feet, but you can tell it's healing, and I think the itchiness is gone, so that's good. That's why he's so much happier. His back is basically completely clear. So yay, are you happy? Are you happy? Are you feeling better? Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're in the clear, guys, with the whole hand, foot, and mouth disease. So comment below if you have any experience with this. I would love to know if you guys have even heard of it or know someone who had it. And don't forget to subscribe. Usually our vlogs are more fun, but we got to keep it real. And if we're diseased, we got to let you know. Okay. Love you, lovelies. Say love you, lovelies. Love you, lovelies.